Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel Leela Web Dev. In this video, we will learn another elements that are supported in the table. That is nothing but caption and the T head elements. Let's try to see these things. Normally, for example, if you try to see the output of our table, so this is the output. So this is the thing what we are trying to show the tabular data. Now this one is simply showing the table data. So now what I want to have is I need to have a table heading for this one uh, representing something like title of this table. So what is this actually the table is representing? So what type of data actually this table is showing? We need to somehow show the title of this table. Normally what you will try to do the title of this table here you add a paragraph element or h3 element or something like this let's say personal details so this is the title of this table now let's try to see the output now here you are showing the you are having a heading in such a way that you are showing the personal details fine so this is one way of representing the showing the title of this table so it is fine not a problem but is this has a semantic meaning why because up to now when we are learning this course html course we have seen that paragraph p element is used for only showing for showing for the paragraph data so if you are having a paragraph text or anything so we will be using this paragraph element and if you are having any headings or anything you will be show, you will be having this h3 elements or anything but here so now if you if you try to understand this paragraph element personal details is used yeah, now here we are using this paragraph element for the title of this table. So that means it doesn't have any meaning. When you are trying to use artificial intelligence like screen readers or Alexa or Amazon. Now that those, those softwares cannot able to recognize that this is the title of this table. So they cannot able to recognize. They will think that this is some paragraph text and it will read it normally. This should not happen. So that means this doesn't have any semantic meaning. Visually, if you try to see, you are able to see that uh, you are able to see that it, it is the title of this table and you can do some CSS styling for this one so that it will appear. So you can make it to appear as the title of this table, but doesn't that, but does that doesn't make the sense. So now for showing the title of this table, we should have a, some meaningful elements up to now we have learned why we need to use the elements and in which cases we use the elements we have seen semantic meanings now in order to show the title of this table we have a special element name that is nothing but a caption whenever you want to show the title of this table so you need to use the caption inside the table and in this caption you can write personal details okay so now here it will screen readers or anything it will be able to recognize that okay this is the title of this table and it will try to read the data okay now if you try to see the output the personal details the here the table the caption will automatically it will be center aligned to this table and you will be able to see as the title so this is how we will be adding the title for a table so whenever you want to add a title or explanation for this one so you need to use this caption Previously, we used to have a summary attribute. So this attribute we used to have, this is deprecated in the HTML5. So better if you want to describe, if you want to write the description of this table, if you want to write the description of this table, better it is better to use the caption. So this is the caption thing. And the another thing, another another concept, what we need to learn is, if you try to say this table, so this table actually has three parts. First one is showing the header of this table. The second one is nothing but the body of the table. And the last one is the footer of this table. Okay, so every every tablet data or every HTML document also, you will be having three parts, something like head, body, and footer, something like this, right? So in the same scenario for the table also, you will be having head. It is nothing but table header and the table body and the table footer. Now, if you are having any complex data, so here the table, it is, show, it is showing fine. But here, if you try to see this table data, so right now, this is a simple table. You will be able to understand that which whatever is the head. So this is the head you can be able to understand. And this uh, complete is the table body. And the last one is the table foot 
table footer so you will be able to understand by seeing the code for example if it is a complex table or a big table so which has involves lot of columns and lot of rows and these are all the things involves so if the table is very complex then you are unable to understand so which one is the header which one is the body and which one is the footer so now the html provides us for the semantic meaning so the special elements called as t head t foot and the t body so which represents the table header table body and the table footer simultaneously let's try to see which one we need to give the table head and table body and the table foot for example let's say that you are having this at the top so now you know that this is a header so automatically you can add the table head here t head so this one is represented as a t head you can surround the header using the t head so that now the screen readers or anything able to recognize that okay this is the header of this table now what is the body so here this is the body i can copy this entire body and i can go to the down so here i can place it at the top okay so this is the t body and the last one is nothing but the t foot so i can add the t foot here now if i try to add the t foot here so this is the t foot now by seeing this table you may be easily understand that so t body t head and the t foot now this table is divided into three parts that is it is having the table header table body and the table foot now remember that this table head whatever the table head we are trying to use it should be below this call group if you are having the call group means it should be at the top so not below the table head it should be at the top so this is the representation of this complete structure of the table now if you try to see the output so if you try to if you refresh it nothing changes but you have a semantic meaning distribution differentiation and the division of the data so the table has been divided into header body and the footer now we will be able to easily uh, debug this code so this is all about the what i can say ta uh, table structure so these are the things which we have used so whatever what are the concepts we have learned the some of the features available in the table so we have learned about the call group call these things we have learned and we have learned about the caption caption is nothing but it is used to give the title for this description so in order to explain the description of this table so we will give it in the caption and the another one what we have learned is about the t head t body and the t foot elements so these are also one of the important concepts which will divide the table so normally at the total table structure will be like this so adding the caption which represents the title the call group so if you want to style this columns means you can use this call group or otherwise you can leave it and t head t body and t foot so like this you need to represent the table whenever you are trying to write the table so make sure that you need to represent like this which gives the semantic meaning so hope you understood about this one so in the next video we will see how to write the table inside the table that is nothing but the nested tables and by that we can close this table concept hope you understood about these tables uh, uh, some of the advanced uh, elements that are supported in the table if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel thank you